the Ministry of Education has completed the 10-year master plan for STPs in Kenya. It has developed designs for the pilot STPs at Konsa Technopolis and Dedan Kimathi University of Science and Technology and are currently in an at procurement stage for design consultant and construction supervisors for prioritized labs within the program. This plan, which provides a framework for the implementation of STPs in the next 10 years, is indeed a major boost in our efforts to strengthen the country's knowledge economy. We are at a good place as a country as we now have a framework for the implementation of STPs in the coming years. The master plan's objectives are one, to develop a 10-year national master plan for science and technology parks in Kenya. Two, to develop designs for concert science and technology park. And number three, to develop designs for the Dedan Kimathi University of Technology, Science and Technology Park. Ladies and gentlemen, as per the master plan, six STPs are proposed within three technology corridors. Nairobi, Central and Western Technology Corridors to be implemented going forward. The proposed STPs are Konza STP Nairobi Technopolis Corridor, JQuat STP Nairobi Technology Corridor, University of Nairobi STP Nairobi Technology Corridor, Dedan Kimathi University of Technology STP in Central Technology Corridor, Moi University STP in Western Technology Corridor, and Maseno University STP in Western Technology Corridor. In addition to the above, a virtual STP is also proposed for purposes of linking to all the other STPs and acting as the first step in the creation of a virtual workplace and market for the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, some of the developments that have so far been achieved towards establishment of STPs, especially at CONSA, are number one, detailed architectural designs for the CONSA Science and Technology Park up to BQ level. Two, CONSA STP site master plan. Three, business plan for the CONSA STP. Four, preparation of a preliminary environment impact assessment for the CONSA STP. And five, done a call for expression of interest for the architects and construction supervisor for the initial labs in the STP. In order to enhance the opportunities, there is a need to focus on innovation and entrepreneurship, increasing network uh, and collaboration between education and research, private and public sector stakeholders at both national and regional levels will facilitate cooperation and co-creation, adoption, and commercialization of research and innovation outputs to ensure research and innovation programs are regularly valorized for impact and ailment, alignment rather, uh, with national and regional policy objectives as this continue to evolve. Such commitment to national and cross-border coordination of research and innovation actors will strengthen the social economic situation of the continent through ownership, local ownership, and wider utilization of research outputs and technology acquisition. We need to take a systematic approach to technology transfer and, and knowledge sharing. Co-creation and adoption of new pro products, services, uh, processes, business models, and policies and commercialization of research and innovation outputs will definitely stimulate local, national, and regional innovation ecosystems. Uh, this will result in better public services, including ent entrepreneurial innovation based on open data, the creation of new economic sectors, wider employment opportunities in the formal economy, and commercialization of technologies with regional relevance and global potential. With regards to the role which our agency, uh, that is the outer NEPAD, NEPAD APRM Care Secretary, can play in bringing together science parks in the region to support uh, information technology and innovation as an area of focus. Um, the NEPAD APRM Care Secretary strongly believes on the need of securing strong leadership and goodwill towards science parks initiatives. 
With political goodwill, there will be an impetus in collaboration and partnership to accelerate the mobilization of science parks to support initiatives in, in information, technology, and innovation. In this regard, the Secretariat is open to partnership that will help in coordination and advancement of common regional goals, particularly in centers of knowledge improvement of existing universities, infrastructure, especially in information and technology, as, a well, as well as higher education institutions uh, and research organizations. We must therefore leverage on the opportunities presented by bringing together science parks in the region to support information technology and innovation. One way to address this is to have a coordinated approach in the establishing of formal uh, or rather a formal operational structure. To execute this, we need to harmonize policies and other instruments of operation to avoid multiplicity of regulation and taxes and creating an attractive enough to bring together different sector players in ICT. To highlight the current Africa's economic development trends and how entities involved in innovation and science parks, management can collaborate through the AU uh, to tap into existing potential and mitigate on challenges facing the continent. The African Union member states have started trading with each other under the Africa Continental Free Trade Area beginning this year 2021. AFC FTA aims at integrating the 55 markets in Africa to one. That's one Africa market with cross-border integration projects, for example, the Lapset corridor programs, markets Kenya, beyond and East Africa will be more accessible. STI institutions can develop continental and regional solutions due to market existence and its accessibility. Free mobile roaming technology is another economic development trend in Africa that seeks to abolish roaming fees. The East Africa One Network Area roaming initiative is one to mention. This initiative aims at promoting regional integration by bringing down the high cost of mobilizing, of, of rather, sorry, the high cost of mobile roaming in East Africa as we open markets with integration projects, there is need to enable the markets, or let's say the traders and customers to communicate with each other. Cheaply abolishing mobile roaming fees will therefore in turn enable landlocked countries access subsea fiber optic cables.